Heal your body and not your symptoms. Be a survivor, not the victim. Treat your body right. Yes, y'all. Yes, yes, y'all. I'm living my life that is best, y'all. No stress, good health. I'm blessed, y'all. Love, peace, and blessings, health conscious community. This is Sakina with Natural Max Health. And today we are cont continuing our discussion on 12 ingredients to avoid when purchasing body care products. So just a quick recap, the reason why you want to be conscious of what you put on your skin, our skin is the largest organ on our body it is also the largest organ on our body for elimination and it absorbs up to 80 percent of what we put on it so of course i'm doing a series on different things to help um help alleviate the pain and symptoms that we deal with with eczema and psoriasis and of course other skin disorders now, although the products, the I'm sorry, the ingredients rather that I'm mentioning, they may not cause, be the cause of the eczema, may not be the cause of the psoriasis or other skin disorder itself, but it can definitely aggravate it. And in some cases, it might also, you know, be the cause depending upon what your skin disorder is. So on the last video, we went over the first six ingredients. So today we are going to go over the last six. There were a total of 12 ingredients that I want to give you all. We did the first six. So today we will continue with the, the second half. So the seventh ingredient that we want to avoid is phthalate. That is spelled P-H-T-H-A-L-A-T-E-S. The reason why we want to avoid this ingredient in body care products is because it is linked to ADHD, breast cancer, low IQ, obesity, reproductive development, and male infertility. Once again, we want to avoid this product in body care products because it is linked to ADHD, breast cancer, low IQ, obesity, diabetes, reproductive development issues, and male infertility. The eighth ingredient that we want to avoid in body care products is propylene glycol. Propylene glycol. The reason why we want to avoid this is because um, it causes rashes, it damages cell membranes, it's a very strong skin irritant, and it can cause nervous system damage in children. So once again, it is, um, causes rashes, damages cell membranes, is a strong skin irritant, and it can cause central nervous system damage in children. And according to some of my research, um, it says some research says that it's actually antifreeze. So we definitely do not want to put antifreeze on our skin or use any body care products that has antifreeze. So you definitely want to be on the lookout for anything that may have propylene glycol in it. The ninth ingredient that we want to avoid is siloxins. And the reason why we want to avoid this product is because it is a reproductive toxin. And it has been known to cause birth defects in fish and wildlife. I've not seen any research yet that it has been linked to birth defects in children, but it's still a product that's on the, the hit list. Another ingredient that we want to avoid when purchasing skincare products is sodium lauryl sulfate, or simply SLS. Once again, sodium lauryl sulfate, or SLS. Now, I don't have the reason why we want to avoid this product, but what I'm told is that the foam is a foaming factor that is found in over 90% of personal care products that foam. 
So if you have the foaming soap, foaming cream, you want to um, make sure that it is absent of sodium lauryl sulfate, which is SLS, or another abbreviation you may see is SLES. Our 11th ingredient to avoid, avoid is synthetic fragrances. Synthetic fragrances. This is a big one for me. I have to avoid anything that has any source of fragrance in it. And even if I buy a perfume or something, I have to put it on my clothes. I cannot put it on my skin at all. So this, are, this is the reason why we want to avoid synthetic fragrances. It can mimic estrogen, it triggers asthma, it reduces sperm count, it can lead to reproductive malformation, it is also linked to liver and breast cancer, it is linked to diabetes and obesity, and fetal exposure is linked to autism, it is also linked to ADHD and neurological disorders. So. The 12th and our final ingredient that we want to avoid in body care products is triclosan. Triclosan. This is an antibacterial agent that disrupts the thyroid. It is linked to cancer and it is found in breast milk, urine, and blood plasma. Now this ingredient was banned by the FDA in 2016 but what you want to keep in mind is that skin products are not regulated by the FDA. And if you may have something in your closet, something in your medicine cabinet or wherever you keep your products that you purchased prior to 2016. So those are, that wraps up our list of products that we want to, I'm sorry, that wraps up our list of ingredients that we want to um, avoid when we buy our body care products. You definitely, when you're looking for creams and things to help relieve eczema, psoriasis, or just lotions and creams for your hand, just for you know everyday use, you want to make sure you avoid these products. If you did not see the first video that has the first six, I highly recommend watching that video so that you can get all 12 ingredients that you want to avoid. So my friends, that is all for today. On my next video, I will share with you um, different products that I have used during my journey um, with healing my body from eczema and psoriasis. I will go over some that work and some that, pop, that did not work so well. So that is all for now. Until then, I hope that you have a great healthy day. Oh, and before I go, if you found this video useful, if you like the information, please like, please share so that other people who need the information can get it. And please, you know, leave a comment. It helps with the algorithms. So until next time, have a great healthy day and I'll see you soon. Ta-ta!